WRC9 has been keeping me busy since Killerton gave me a preview code of the game, which has the September the 8th, 2020 release date. Here are the details of the new rallies, DLC schedule, new game modes, next-gen console support, and more. As a fan of Rally and crashing into trees, WRC 8 was great. Now the official sequel, WRC 9 funnily enough, is here and I've been playing it. So if you want to know anything about the game, leave a comment. I've been playing a preview version ahead of its launch on Xbox One, PS4 and PC via the Epic Games Store. The release date for the Nintendo Switch version is to be confirmed. Now there's a lot to get through so grab a coffee and stay to the end as I think fans of Rally and the series will be pleasantly happy, maybe even ecstatic with all the new stuff. For those new to the series, French studio Killerton has been making the WRC games since WRC 5. It's also responsible for the official TTR of Man games and the forthcoming Test Drive Unlimited. Two months after launch, WRC9 will feature something called co-driver mode. Here the idea is that two people play together, one drives, and the other has to provide useful pace notes, because the game won't give you any. In reality, of course, there will be lots of terrible directions and much anger. Given that this mode will work online as well as split screen, it could be hilarious. Sadly, there'll be two months minimum before co-driver mode is added to the game, as Killerton admitted it's still in development. WRC9 features new never before seen rallies too, which were meant to take place this season, but then 2020 went mental. One is Rally Safari Kenya. Here you get to battle challenging dirt roads while avoiding exotic wildlife. Don't you dare hit the giraffes. Rally New Zealand, meanwhile, offers spectacular scenery from the North Island. The developer said participants often describe this rally as like dancing with the car due to its high speed and smooth flowing gravel roads. After a nine year absence, Rally Japan makes a return to the sport and its debut in WRC 9. Expect very narrow tarmac roads that make their way up into the mountains in Nagoya. Finishing stages without getting damaged will be tough. A month and two months after release, we'll see new stages added to a new version of Rally Portugal and Rally Finland, respectively. This means you can drive the 29 and 2020 championship versions. Overall, there are 13 official rallies, five of which are new, for a total of 35 new stages. As for teams, expect 52 from WRC, WRC2, WRC3 and Junior WRC, plus all the official drivers and a test rally area for fine-tuning setups. WRC 9 is underpinned by WRC 8, which is fine because it was actually an enjoyable rally game. However, in the quest to continue to provide as realistic physics as possible, Killerton says there have been numerous small improvements to make it more simulation-esque. Is that the case? Well, you'll have to wait for my first impressions video, as there's no proof quite like the one you get in Pudding. But Killerton has said it listens to the community. Rally fans will be pleased to know there are 15 legendary bonus cars, ranging from as far back as 1973. Each one has at least a world championship to its name, either the driver or manufacturer one, except two cars. Quiz time, which two? The cars included will now flash up on screen so you don't have to hear me list every one of them. Orange means new, the rest were in WRC 8. Personal highlights for me include the Lancia Stratos, Delta Integrale and the 2005 Citroen Zara. Another big WRC9 feature and one of the most frequently requested is clubs. Here you can create your own championship, including the rally location and stages, weather conditions, eligible car or cars, and even how long the championship lasts. Clubs can be public or private, either way you get an automatic leaderboard. It's possible to have four of your own clubs, or be in one of your own, and three made by other players. Clubs mode works offline, and there is no limit on how many members you can have. Sadly, it's unavailable in the preview version of the game, so I cannot investigate further. Expect that in a later video. But I can say the clubs feature will be available from launch. 
WRC9 also benefits from some tech improvements. For PC gamers, that includes DirectX 12 improvements for better graphics and a greater number of physics possibilities. The developer says it will also help with smoothness. WRC9's next-gen version features full optimization to maximize SSD performance, that's the new faster hard drive, and space efficiency. Also, code has been changed to have full async loading and removing custom compression to exploit Kraken is planned. Sony's PS5 controller, meanwhile, will benefit from, quote, inventive and holistic use of haptic feedback via the adaptive triggers and sound. This is said to help you feel road bumps, gear ratio, damage, and other details better. As for the CPU and GPU stuff, expect enhanced physics, real world simulation and AI, native 4K, 60 frames per second minimum up to 100 frames per second, maybe that should be 120, and better texture resolution. In a bid to keep players happy, WRC9 features daily, weekly, and monthly challenges as well. The idea being that you will have new challenges to complete whenever you return to the game, which you can compete in as part of the global leaderboards. WRC8's career mode proved to be a worthwhile improvement. In WRC9, the structure is the same, but there are more things to do, such as an enhanced skill tree, and calendar possibilities. Again, this is something I'll be looking at in my first impressions video when I've had more time to play the game. Meanwhile, those who love to get snappy can make use of the new photo mode, which arrives in the M1 first month patch and is a first for the series. The replay camera's management system has been improved too, so it should be easier to capture your leet yeet skills, or lack of, in my case. In addition to the new stages, WRC9 will also get three major updates before 2020 is finished. That includes more cars, more rallies, more stages, and more challenges, all for free. In the M1 update, arriving in early October, there will be six new stages of Rally Portugal, the photo mode, and one extra WRC driver. Early November, aka the M2 update, adds a new version of Rally Finland with six new stages, as well as the co-driver mode, although this could change, and one brand new official concept car. The end of December, we'll see the eSports patch in preparation for the WRC9 eSports 2021 competition, which starts in January 2021 and is sponsored by Toyota Gazoo Racing. So which WRC9 version should I buy? Well, the Digital Deluxe Edition includes 48 hours of early access, three months of WRC Plus access, the Toyota Corolla 1999 Champion, and Barcelona Super Special Stage, which is a popular and a pure recreation of the race in the center of Barcelona. This retail version also gets the Career Starter Pack, plus an unannounced project to be confirmed that is not directly part of the Deluxe Edition. I've been told we'll hear more about this very soon. The Standard Edition, meanwhile, is basically just the game plus the free DLC stuff. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. My first impressions and potentially a full review will be coming soon, as well as some other content, you know, how to set up your steering wheel, how it compares with its predecessor, and Dirt Rally 2.0, that kind of stuff. Anyway, take care, bye.